Oh, look at me, Benito the Blesser, eh? Ah! Chai, have you seen it? So our headquarters revolution gang if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so before we get started with this video I want to say something real quick and that is I am currently a senior at my school and I'm graduating in a few weeks which means that right now is a very busy time and as I mentioned in my video not two weeks ago, but two videos ago. I've also been having kind of like a rough time mentally, emotionally. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is to let you guys know that I may be inconsistent. So I don't want you guys to be like, oh, you know, she's so inconsistent and it's unexpected. I'm alerting you. I am alerting you that within the next one or two months, you know, um, in fact, maybe even up until August. I'm warning you in advance, I'm so sorry. But I will say, please turn on your post notifications, guys, so you know when I post. I guess a few things that I can share with you. Um, I'm gonna be the speaker at graduation, so I'm going to be making a speech in front of everybody and I'm representing my class, so like I'm working on a speech, I have to go to practices. I'm also going to be the flag bearer, so like a part, I'm a part of the commencement ceremony um, I lead the whole entire uh, class to graduation basically so there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that and of course I'm in like my finals week kind of so I have a lot of assignments that I need to do and also some good news some good news and please share your good news down below if you have any but I recently got two awards the one award was for was from the Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants and they gave me an award for being the outstanding senior in accounting so that's pretty exciting. I'm the only recipient of that award um, this year. And then the second one I got was the Edwin Stockton, I think it's called. And that was for having the highest GPA in the business and economics department. So that department is accounting, finance, business, marketing, like all that stuff together. I had the highest GPA, my GPA is 3.95. Um, and also I got a summer internship. So this summer I'm going to be working at an accounting firm. I'm not going to share much about that until i don't even know when but you know that happened and i really thank god for that that of course means i'm not going to be coming back to south africa over the summer unfortunately um but yeah so those are some of the good news and like again comment down below your good news but anyway let's get started with this video so over here i have a letter from myself when i started university i wrote a letter to myself and now four years later as i'm about to graduate i was a freshman when i wrote it now i'm a senior i'm about to read it and see what benita said um i'm really <laughs> nervous because like what if i disappointed her <laughs> oh my days oh my days okay but let me just let, let's do it let's see need money right now yes listen in life now be your own blesser be your own blesser in the future you know look at this is from benita benita gave me this she gave me this 20 dollars guys like i'm about to go buy myself some fashion over thank you me appreciate you queen thank you oh look at me benita the blesser eh ah chai have you seen it no this one eh. Yeah. going to use it well well okay so let's see, a letter to me, jeez, it's like a full page, yeah? All right, I wrote this 26 August 2018, and it says, Dear Benita, do you still call yourself Benita Danielle? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> it's funny that's become my brand because it was really unexpected. Never used to go by the name uh, Danielle. That's what we, 
you and I are going by. Well, I mean, it's it's what I go by like online, like on YouTube and stuff. But like in real life, nobody calls like in in, in person, nobody calls me Benita Danielle. Call me like Benita. <laughs> Although, you know, I think if I ever change countries again, I think the next country I move to, God willing, if it happens, um, I think I might start going by Danielle just to like spice things up. You get me? Anyway, except like, do you guys have uh, second names? And then when people call you by your second name, you look around like. And then, who are you talking about? Who are you calling? Today is the day before my first freshman class. Oh, my baby. My little baby. Oh, wow. And I am nervous as hell. You made it, babe. You made it through and you got A's. Period. Wait, na na. Yes, I really want to make everyone, myself included, proud. Oh, you did. You made your parents so proud. Like, and you made me proud. So thank you for that. Um, I just want to say, Benita, um, you, me, I, us, we, from the moment I started college, um, well, God willing, the semester goes well, but from the moment I started uh, university, I've gotten A's, either A or A minus. I've never gotten even one B. Not not even one B. I've literally gotten A's all throughout my uh, four years of study. So you did. You did make us proud. And it wasn't easy. Anyway, sorry. I'm studying accounting. Lol, are you? Ah, <laughs> yes, we are. We made it. We made it, babes. We made it. We didn't change majors. We didn't drop out. You know, we didn't. Yeah, we are still doing the accounting, babes. We did. And now we have an internship, honey. We've done a few internships. So like, good. Good on you. The 25th of August 2018, I posted my first YouTube video. Oh, guys, look how far we are. Shout out to the Revolution Gang. So shout out to every person who's been here from the beginning. And even if you've joined along the way, shout out to you. The 25th of August 2018, I posted my first YouTube video, which for now is at 200 views. Yeah, I used to average like 200 views and like some videos wouldn't, wouldn't get to 200 and I'd be so devastated. Um, which I think is a blessing because in my channel, um, I've never had a video stop at like 80 views. I've never had less than 100 views for a video. Um, and I've seen that some channels, especially small ones, do have that. And I've, I've never had that. And it's like, thank God. Please tell me that as you're reading this, you're crazy famous with a popping YouTube that gets more than 200 views. <laughs> Okay, um, we're not crazy famous, no, but we do have a popping channel that does get more than 200 views. And for that one, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for supporting all of the content and everything. Like you guys did this for Benita, so shout out. In grade eight, my ugly self thought high school would be super long, yet here I am writing a letter as what Americans call a freshman. Well, yeah, high school, no, high school was long. Guys, comment down below, if you had the choice, would you go back to high school? Because personally, I wouldn't. Like, even if you paid me, I would I would not go back to high school. I, I don't care. Quick question, before I get sentimental. Are you still funny? Uh, or, well, are we still funny? Personally, I think I'm hilarious. You know what, guys? I think I'm more funny off camera. You don't even get it. Like, ah, uh, please, I feel like I'm more funny off camera, but yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, uh, you know, almost. I mean, we're no comedian, but yeah, please, you know, because right now we are hilarious. I believe it, babe. I don't have many friends. I still, <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> I, don't. I do not have many friends. Um, I, I realized that. A lot of people know me, I know a lot of people, but I don't think I have many friends, you know, and for me what I call a friend is, um, as I've said, I've been going through trying times and for me what a friend is, is like, who do I have to call, who can I rely on, you know, I don't have many friends, but I know that I always have God, amen, we still do, and you, or well me, or like us, yeah, we have us, but there were times where we didn't have us, hey, but we had God. God took his time making you, baby. Stop. 
Um, you are destined for greatness. Amen. You are strong, beautiful, intelligent, and blessed. Even when it doesn't seem like it. Oh, what this girl said. No, no, no. Because did you, did you hear what she said? Wow. I'm going to read that again. God took his time making you. You are destined for greatness. You are strong, beautiful, intelligent, and blessed, even when it doesn't seem like it. That makes me really emotional because I know what she's talking about and, and I still I still know what she's talking about, even when it doesn't feel like it. Like I have so many moments where like I just doubt myself and uh, if I think I'm worthy, am I good enough? Like. I really appreciate that and I think it's a powerful message that you know what your feelings don't dictate who you are God dictates who you are you know what I mean there are times where like you may feel like I'm nothing I'm no one I'm not worthy I'm horrible your feelings don't dictate who you are even you are not big enough to to change what God has made you and who God has made you you know what I mean you shouldn't always believe your feelings especially when they're telling you bad things about yourself you know and if you can't rely on your own words rely on God's words because they're always true they're always true and he says you are fearfully and wonderfully made you know so sorry about that kind of getting emotional um, no more procrastinating actually I'm so proud <laughs> I say this as I'm recording a video the day the night it's not even the day the morning is supposed to be posted and then I also have an essay due today that I'm gonna be starting today but hear me out though Hear me out I know it seems whatever but I've actually conquered procrastinating I actually got into a habit of doing my assignments way ahead of time um, and it's helped me a lot so anyone who wants a tip for university or whatever do your assignments ahead of time and even if you don't do the whole thing get started with small bits small bits and then put it all together maybe the day before or even the day off depending on who you are but yeah I've conquered procrastinating there's no Procrastinating feels nice, but honestly, it is so dumb and it's not worth it. It's sort of like not going to the gym and not praying. Like, it may feel good in the moment when you get to sleep or laze out, but it's never worth it and you do yourself an injustice, so. No more procrastinating. No swearing. No alcohol and drugs. Yo, patong girl, okay. No procrastinating. No swearing. No alcohol and no drugs. I, I, I love how she's saying this as if I was doing any of those things at the time. Like, I, I, what even made you think? Did you think that four years later I was gonna be some kind of like a crackhead or something? Damn, B. And damn it, Benita, no being a hoe. And I, oh, oh. <laughs> Seeing that, um, it is 2022 and I am 23 years old. Well, I'm 23 in August. I'm 23 years old and I am very much single. Very much single and uh, yeah. I, I don't know if it was you who cursed me, girl. I don't know if it was you who, whatever. You know, once my mom spoke about Ne, she spoke about making a prayer where like she locks you so boys don't see you until you graduate. And I don't know if she actually ended up making that prayer. I must go talk to that woman because Guys, please, why am I not married? You know, why don't I have men proposing to me wanting to marry me? Am I not paying? Am I not paying, guys? Am I not beautiful? Come on, why, what's going on? What's going on? Anyway, no being a hoe. I don't know why you're saying this as if I was a hoe or you thought maybe I was going to turn into like some crackhead hoe, suck dick from weed and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, let's kill this life thing. Yes, babe, and she drew a heart. Yes, honey. Good luck on your new endeavors. You did this college thing. Thank you. You can do this adulting thing. Yo, that one, eh? Oh, can't you? Oh, oh, woman, too. Oh, no. Yeah, hello. Okay. We got this. I love you, bro. Oh, I love you, too. I do love you. I love me. Benita, I love you. I love us. It's weird to say that. But I do. How often do you tell yourself you love yourself? Like, you know? If you're Pindile, Pindile, I love you. Or, you know, Benita, I love you. I don't do that often. Damn, I'm sweet. Yeah, whatever. Kind re you know, kind regards? <laughs> kind regards? Okay. <laughs> okay. Kind regards, Benita, Danielle, and Dawazi, your friend. Oh, my baby. And I'm my baby. Oh. Rah, this was sweet, you know. 
Oh my, where's my money? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness um so wow that was my letter to me in freshman year and um i think if i do post a video next week i'll post a video about what i learned about studying in america and, and living abroad but in response to the to the the letter i wrote now so the friend thing um I, I still don't have a lot of friends and I realized actually because of studying abroad um, in that I I can't I have friends here right but you know I'm dealing with the reality of frankly I'm in a foreign country and I don't know where God is gonna take me you know so I go back to essay what happens to these friendships that I have here you know what I mean um, especially when you're not yet at a point where you have enough money to travel back and forth you know are they gonna be maintained through zoom and, and, and video calls um, there are so many people that I started the journey with that I've lost along the way and by lost I don't mean like we I mean they moved back you know some friends dropped out some graduated and the relationship just ended you know so it's like Oh, when you think about friendship you think about about that um, knowing that um, and then also it's it's this weird thing with friendship where like I, I never I, I don't belong to anyone right so like in essay my friends are friends the whole year they're they're building bonds they're going out together they're forming a new circle I mean friends who never were friends before have now formed a circle and I'm sort of the outlier I'm sort of the person who's now friends with one person here one person there but I never got to build my social circle simply because I'm not in the country more often uh, than not which means that I'm never able to cement friendships and connections and I and I feel that when I go back home you know I, I sometimes it's like where do I belong and who's my friend you know people don't think of me when I go back home and, and when I say that I mean like when they're like oh let's go out they don't include they sometimes they forget to even invite me because they're not used to me being around um, and then even here I'm around throughout school and stuff but like over the summer when everyone is free and I would go home to essay I don't get to hang out with them and do stuff with them and you know what I mean so it's like each friendship it's like they get a portion of me a portion of me a portion of me and not I guess the most of me um, and I've also made friends with people who are much older actually I'm serious like one of my besties guys is like honestly like above 40 one of my besties is above 40 um, so I've, I've come to appreciate friendships with older people as well and it's genuine friendship and I would say that's what living in America has done for me like I, I feel like for me in SA um, culturally being black and, and not all black people you know not all but you know how you're taught this thing about respect for elders in that you 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 know you can never really be friends with elders because you you can barely even talk to them you must call them mom this and ubab that and like you know there's this dynamic that is created and and you almost can't have free flow of conversation with them depending on who they are but here yeah, things were so different in that i was able to have free flowing conversations with older people to the point of forming friendship but yeah i just want to end off this video with a little message for anyone who needs it and that is you are growing whether you realize it or not you are growing and you are moving you know um, and, and you should acknowledge that and this letter for me was that reminder that I'm not the same person who I was but I do want to say that you are growing and you should acknowledge it when I speak to a lot of people um, who are my age or a little bit older there seems to be a common theme of where is my life going what am I doing I should be more I should be more I should be I, you know everyone just social media and I really do blame social media makes everybody think that bro by now we should all be like these super rich people with five ten businesses you know what you are exactly where you need to be and you need to learn to be content with where you are I'm not saying complacent be I'm just saying be content be happy with where you are and who you are and work towards more if you want more work to work towards a better body work towards a better job work towards a better qualification but while you work towards better don't hate yourself don't hate the person who's there now appreciate who you are now because the person who you are now has changed and grown from five years ago I just want to say for anyone who's watching this you are doing good you're doing well you're far from who you used to be and there's even greater for you to unlock this is not where it ends for you bro like you like you are you are limitless do you understand like the sky is nothing you know what I mean 
Um, so I just want to encourage anyone right now who feels like they're going nowhere and no, there's none of that. You're exactly where you need to be, you know, and you will get more, you will get there. So shout out to all of us. And lastly, I can't end off this video without mentioning that God has got you. God will guide you, but you need to submit yourself to his will you know um and to his lordship put your life in his hands find um sh uh, find shelter in the shadow of his wings run to him draw near to him he'll draw near to you but god is in control guys and that's the one thing that's kept me going is even right now as i say i'm, I'm having tough times and whatever but tough times never last <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, all I'm saying is God is good. He's good. Trust him and rely on him. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys. Bye.